Hey, everybody. Ham hey, hog, good reptile queens. Uh, all, all you reptile queens out there in full <laughs> living color. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. What hotels are you about to get kicked out of for annoying a toucan? That's right. <laughs> hey, aren't you Evelyn Morrison, famed B-movie star? Yes, I am she. <laughs> I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says, Clam do Beretta Nimno? Oh, no. No, that's Vampirus in Prison. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Oh, wrong answer. <laughs> Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. Action! I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Corman. <laughs> I have this sudden craving for an umbrella drink. Evelyn Morrison's Jungling has the greatest umbrella drinks in the world, with over 237 kinds of rum. That's a lot of kinds of rum. All in just one drink? <laughs> Which way to the bar? Take it easy, Max. You don't even drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. The toucan must have put words into my mouth. Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. I'll take that as a no, then. You haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy-as-a-bed-bug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Why? He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Yeah, that sounds like him. Uh-huh. I'll uh -huh. get back to you later. You think this Bigfoot stepped Evelyn on... Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, why not take some of these brochures? <laughs> stepped on some Legos. They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. Uh, did we automatically get some, or... I don't they... know. Oh, I guess we did. Are those them? Hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high voltage tower. <laughs> These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur <gasps> Tar Pit Yay! in Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota. <laughs> and some place called the Celebrity Vegetable <gasps> Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. <laughs> That's great. I think I like the humming better. Yeah, that's a Richard Nixon tomato if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Hey, buddy. What's up in there? Big time Bigfoot party. In that phone booth? I guess so. <laughs> Sounds like some kind of shindig. It's the event of the century. Can we How's the band? Talking to him? Pretty happy as far as I can tell. Well, see ya. See ya. Max, what are you doing? It's so loud. Stop. He's playing with the automatic What's up? door. Oh. Only Sasquatches <laughs> and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. I guess we need to find a Sasquatch to date. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go check out our new places. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited to see some celebrity vegetables. detail. See the carrot leaning out of the book depository? Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind that. What about the string beans behind the fence on the grassy knoll? Oh, I didn't set the timer right. Oh Oops. no. <laughs> it's the timer setting song. <laughs> Is that an Alfred Hitchcock pumpkin? Yes. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Which one of these guys is the walrus? The celery stalk. 
<laughs> Remaindered Conroy Bumpus eggplants. I guess his 15 minutes of fame are about up. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Great. Cool. Huh. I wonder what we're supposed to do I with that. I can't believe Harrison actually agreed to this. It is a stunning likeness, though. It's amazing what they can do with mushrooms. <laughs> what the holy mother of gourd is this? <laughs> oh, isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of vegetables. famous celebrities. Vegetables. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Oh, that would have been my second guess. This technology is more really fascinated impressive. by the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's hell of some corn over there. <laughs> that is hell of some corn. Yes. So what's the biggest thing in vegetable celebrities right now? I can't believe I lived long <laughs> enough to hear you say that, Sam. You may not believe this, Sonny, but the biggest thing right now is miniaturization. Miniaturization? Peas. <laughs> Peas? I know, I know, it seems impossible. All we are saying oh, no, is no. Oh. a mm. oh. Let's stop this conversation yep. right here. Well, it's been so a great episode, everybody. <laughs> Well, they don't translate well into vegetables. I have been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. Check out our fridge. <laughs> what prompted that batch of Conroy heads over there? Well, I was trying a new growth hormone for some of my more oh boy. distinguished personalities when I realized it was no good. Now it won't stop. They just keep growing like that. Big misshapen growths on top reminded me of Conroy Bumpus, so I ran a special. <laughs> well, bye. I wouldn't eat any of these vegetables. We have. Oh, yes, we do have. <gasps> what do you make of this? <laughs> well, I can make well, a carrot. <laughs> And naturalist John Muir, <laughs> this looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. All right, I what guess are, we'll be back. What are we going to do with a zucchini squash shaped like John Muir, Riff? <laughs> I mean, I didn't use it to open a locked door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something. Something. <laughs> who, who knows? Who knows? Okay, I guess we go to this big dinosaur. Yep. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> so much going on. <laughs> hmm. What kind of dinosaurs are those, Sam? From the size of their grand fibular extensions, I'd say they were a couple of brick a brachiosaurs. <laughs> are they dangerous? They're only robots, Max. Dinosaurs have been extinct for millions of years. They're only no one tells robots, me anything. So yes, they're <laughs> yes, deadly. Yes, they're deadly. <laughs> yes. Are they from Boston Dynamics? Because those <laughs> things will hunt you down. It's a fearsome maw. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, my tiny forearms are quite useless. But I more than make up for it with my powerful tail, my muscular leg, and my savage razor sharp teeth. Some people make fun of me because I've got a brain the size of a walnut but they usually stop making fun of me after I eat them. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rex. <sighs> I've seen hair like this somewhere before. Uh-huh. Your butt? No, this hair has the same coarseness yeah. as Sasquatch hair. Let's get Fancy some. That. You don't suppose they uh -huh. skin Sasquatches to make this cheesy roadside attraction? 
We can who only knows? hope. <laughs> More importantly, who cares? <sighs> Hi, I'm Wally the Woolly Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. Hi, I'm Wally. <laughs> Okay, we've got a Do rasp. Uh, maybe I can just. This is a completely unusable uh, thingamabob. With the hand? I can't okay. pick that. No, yeah. really. I can't pick that up. You can't pick that up. Can't pick that up. Uh, yeah, the yeah. only thing we have that's remotely scissors like is a rasp. Yeah. It it's not very. I can't use these things uh, together. <laughs> Can we sick? Ah. Oh wait, that's a good idea actually. All my ideas are good. <laughs> Hey, Max. Yeah, there we go. Hey, what? I've got a job for those mighty incisors of yours. What? See that woolly mammoth? What about it? Stop playing dumb and get chomping. Stand over here off screen for a little bit so the Yep, yep. <laughs> Save so much animation budget. Uh huh. <laughs> nice. Fine work, Max. Now we've got more full woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need, and we've learned an important lesson. Yeah, the woolly mammoth died of embarrassment. Okay. What? What was the actual lesson? <laughs> uh. It might be nice to have a Harry Stiltwalker's costume, but I've got nothing to keep the hair stuck to the suit. It might be nice to have a Harry, Harry Stilt Stiltwalker. <laughs> Stiltwalker's costume. Yeah. Is not... You ever just think that yeah. to yourself? Like, huh, it yeah. would be nice to have a Harry Stiltwalker's costume. It's a pillow costume. with hair tonic all over it. <laughs> I can't use these things to get. Mm. Is that like a basket of eggs? Uh, yeah, that's we got a bucket. We of got eggs. a bucket of eggs. You suggesting eggs? Is I blue? can't use no, these things. No, I guess to get. I'm not. <laughs> hmm. I can't use these things. I mean, you can if you try hard enough. Yeah, <laughs> not with that attitude. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Yay. Yay! This place evokes a sense of wonder. You have to wonder. <laughs> this line's not moving very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing could be said about the plot. <sighs> That's not funny, Max. What's going on here, you cute little ragamuffin? What does it look like, Barface? You should show more respect toward your elders, Sonny. Respect this, Bowser Breath. Wow. Ooh, can I pummel him now, Sam? No, Max. Puberty will be punishment enough for this one. <laughs> <laughs> True. We want to ride the tar slide. Do we? Line oh, in the I back, guess we Shep. do. Yeah. Oh, the humanity. Uh. Where? <laughs> so long, squirt. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. You must be this tall. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Max seems to have just wandered yeah. straight through regardless. I guess his ear is counting. She must be the instructor on duty. No, he's looking at the vending machine, though. <laughs> the vending machine she must, must be, be the, the instructor, instructor on duty. duty. Are you in charge here? Yes, I'm an Olympic bungee jumper, and I know everything there is to know about bungee jumping. <laughs> Olympic bungee jumping? Well, she sounds sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she do do? goes to a place and they give her medals. The principles are important to master. Get a safety harness from behind that little screen over there. Once that's on, it's important that you jump from the board toward the pit of tar below. <laughs> As opposed to... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure a great big hunk of fur like yourself would have no problem. Yeah, sounds easy. Looks dangerous. Hey, that furry pig thing is still down there. That's the beauty of this tar. It's always at the right consistency and temperature. It could be days before you sink too low for us <laughs> to find you. <laughs> I'm convinced. Uh, Let's go, Flyboy. Okay. My nose is running. Whose isn't? Uh, what? Because they're in, like, Abe Lincoln's nose uh, or something. Oh, okay. Bye. So long, cutie. <laughs> Lady. <Yeah. laughs> I'm report you to your manager. <laughs> Quit that. <laughs> okay. So, what do you think? It fits you just fine. <sighs> Ooh, stand back. She may pounce. It's a danger I face every day. <laughs> so, Max, what do you think? A regular 007. Are you sure? Clint Baby would be nervous. But get moving! I'm beginning to think you're stalling. Clint. Baby. Who's stalling? I'm just waiting for my buddy to come here and check out this spectacular it view. It has the rhythms of a joke, yeah, but I don't, I don't get, get it. it either. <laughs> it must be must be a reference to something. Be careful with your pop culture references, yes, kids. Yes, we have all <laughs> learned this lesson. Uh, oh, oh, I bet I see how this works. All right. Oh, right. okay. I can't well. use these things together. All right, maybe I just need to have it available. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh. dang. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Honey on the cat hair makes a mustache riff. That's right. Tar on the <laughs> mammoth hair makes a <laughs> makes a man squatch. Make, makes Great. A man now squatch. we've got a stiltwalker's costume covered with tar and full woolly mammoth hair. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> Do we need to actually get stilts or? <laughs> nah, it's probably a two oddly shaped kids in a trench coat. Okay. Sort of <laughs> hey, you can't leave with that on. Put that you back. You just want to oogle me some more, lady. It's yeah. not okay in 2020. <laughs> also, there's weird interspecies. I don't problems. indiscriminately <laughs> use people, except Max. That's this location. Okay. Out. Cool. Good job at the tar pit and dinosaurs. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo -hoo. Woo 
We're just sauntering along, enjoying our day. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. Okay. Placeholder <laughs> name joke. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure if I'm actually. Doing yeah, I have no idea. My. Si <laughs> okay, I'm not. I'm not getting points for breaking. Them. Uh huh. I don't know what you are getting points for, except sometimes you do. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, surviving. Okay. Right. I don't seem to be able to. Uh, oh, okay. Is this, uh, is this game enjoyable in any way? The, yeah. This mini game? I have. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kind of watching it go. I... <laughs> the fact that the signs don't seem to be like impacting yeah. Max, even if. You just. Run right into him. Yeah. Like, is the joke that <laughs> Max is short <laughs> enough that the game doesn't matter? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if so, that's kind of funny. They just forget to put the challenge in this game and hope nobody was gonna notice? I'm not sure. Okay, you are you were getting points for some of those things. Huh. But you were also getting points for not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe you weren't getting points for doing that. Maybe you were getting points for the mysterious other thing. <laughs> I don't I don't want more yeah. bonus seconds. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the rest of your life, Riff. <laughs> oh, did he actually bounce on one? Maybe? Okay, so you got five points for doing something. Okay, you did it again, and I don't I know. I can't hear you. Okay. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I guess that's what you're supposed to do, except it's okay. basically impossible to do that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun game. Mm.
should have had more jokes in their little billboard bucket. More than like three. Yeah. That's my opinion as a professional joke person. This is so weird in the way that it it has the format of a mini game. But... <laughs> and yet. But none of the execution. Uh. Yeah, it really feels like something that didn't get a lot of time spent on it in development and yeah. nobody playtested it. The true win condition. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess. Should we just go be a? Close enough for jazz. <laughs> let's go. Close enough for jazz is a good line. <laughs> it's a good line. It's a stilt walker's cost. I can't use these things together. I guess we could try it on. Hey. <laughs> That's what I call one pitiful attempt at subterfuge. Oh man. Aww. No, no helpful hints? <laughs> oh, we probably need Conroy Bumpus's toupee. Yep. Ugh. Okay. Fortunately, we got the solution to that one, too. Woo! Do, do you care to guess? Is it his eggplant? It is indeed his eggplant. <laughs> <sighs> that sentence just brought me a modicum of joy. <laughs> We're going to Indiana Jones it? We are exactly that. All right. <laughs> they put all the animation budget into this scene. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. And stay out. Did we get it though? Yep. Woohoo! Okay. Okay, I've attached Conroy Bumpus toupee <laughs> to the Stilt Walker's costume. <sighs> there are a lot of sentences in this game that you won't hear anywhere else in the world. <laughs> yeah. You know, narratively, they haven't even sold us on why we want to go to this Bigfoot convention. Yeah, I know. I don't think he'd want that. All right. We want that. Yeah. I guess we could try it on. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch <laughs> costume. Thanks. If I was in any way inclined to be nice to you fellas, I'd reward your ingenuity by letting <laughs> you in. Aww. That's a particularly big Bigfoot.
What's bugging you? We just want to check out the party for a minute to see some Next. friends. <laughs> Aside from my flea and tick problem, my feet hurt. It's not like us Sasquatch can order up some orthopedic shoes anytime we want. Hmm. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, let me in. Not by the numerous hairs on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Max. Stop. What's up? Only Sasquatches and their dates are allowed on the convention floor. Okay. There must be a way in. Well, do we need to get him some orthopedic shoes? Well, not shoes? unless you are a Bigfoot. Uh, I will skip ahead to the solution because it's not a particularly intuitive okay. one. Okay. Oh. Here. Oh, God. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, just right in the uh. lobby. This is great. Really great. I owe you guys. Oh, no. Oh, please. Okay. It's still Max. <laughs> I guess we could try it on. <laughs> hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. <laughs> I'll let you guys in with that one. <sighs> Thanks. Looks like something important's happening. <laughs> oh, we got here just in time. Oh, good. Hundreds of years ago, it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. The seemingly slow encroachment of mankind and all that his many living styles entail seemed like a vague and distant problem. A problem for future generations of Yeti to solve. Blithely, we sat back, ignoring our own inner call for action. Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency. The certainty of not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives. And the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality. A reality we can no longer choose to ignore. This hits too hard in As 2020. As it turns out, the humans and their technology are moving faster than we are. Much faster than we had anticipated. And so, we now face the final crisis. Unless we pull together, not just acknowledging the need for change, but embracing change not just with our hearts and our minds, but with our actions, we will fall behind, moving backward into extinction. Well, back to the music. <laughs> that's, that's quite some music. <laughs> Do you like it? It's my new Moog synthesizer. <laughs> What choreography? Chateau Sasquatch 92. A very bad year. Give me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, Sasquatch oh. wine. I want that giant pineapple too. Me too. Like in real life. <laughs> What choreography? Right. Talk to this guy and then we'll call it an episode. It's an episode! Not yet. Oh, we gotta not talk yet. To this okay, guy first. okay. Me, sir. Sorry, I got excited. Yes. You're the skinniest Bigfoot I've ever seen. I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. Huh, okay. Huh, okay. You're the skinniest Bigfoot I've ever seen. Nope. I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. Didn't we meet last summer in Cancun? I don't think so. I was hanging upside down in a block of ice last <laughs> summer. How'd that happen? 
Oh, the usual. I was strolling in the Andes, minding my own business, when some idiot mountain climber comes along and yells, Hey, it's the abominable snowman. <laughs> Next thing I know, there's an avalanche, and I'm covered in 20 feet of snow. When I wake up, I'm hanging upside down in an ice block in some place called the Mystery Vortex. Okay. Yeah, hey, that's it's the that abominable, guy. abominable, let me out of... Ah, forget it. <laughs> Has Bruno shown up yet? Keep your voice down. Bruno's involved in a top secret reconnaissance mission to the alien's home planet. Okay. Is he? <laughs> I'm of course, how can silly say? of me to forget. Have you seen Bruno's girlfriend anywhere? Shh, she's helping Bruno contact the aliens. Of course she is. <laughs> oh, yeah. You haven't run into Conroy Bumpus, have you? No, but I know how to deal with him. He has a near-fatal vulnerability to ice, like all beings from the evil planet Snargton. Uh... We'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you later. Figure of speech. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and we will catch you later, everybody. It's an episode! It's an episode! <laughs> Bye, Q, everybody.